Okay. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey, Seth here. This channel's Mile High Firebird. I want to welcome you to the live stream. This is my first live stream. Um, it's uh, pretty exciting for me. I haven't done this yet, so I'm actually really excited. I'm really happy that you guys are here. Uh, we're going to talk a lot of good stuff about banner towing. I got some announcements for you, just some good content. Um, I just want to, uh, you know, this channel, uh, talking about this channel a little bit, uh, I like to show you guys the coolest awesomest best awesomest isn't a word <laughs> best pilot jobs that you can get as a low time pilot and how you can be the best commercial pilot that you can be and that's the value that i want to add to this community to the guys and the gals who are pilots who you possibly just graduated um and you're looking to get your hours um atp hours are pretty high so um banner towing is a great way to do it Airplane fairing is a great way to do it. So we're going to kind of go over that. Um, I just want to um, ask you guys that, uh, hey, if you're new here, consider becoming a subscriber. Um, I'm going to continue to post every week. I'm going to continue to post uh, a new video, whether I'm towing or whether I'm fairing, as you guys have seen already. And I'm going to try, going to try <laughs> to do a live stream once a week if I can. So I uh, just want you guys to know that uh, I really, really appreciate you being here, and I really appreciate you taking time out of your Saturday to come spend some time with me. Okay, so uh, we're going to be doing a few uh, slides. We're going to be switching between a couple of screens here. Um, if you get a chance, share this with somebody, and hopefully they, uh, they'll come by, and we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, information for them as well. All right, so... Again, what is this channel about? Well, particularly it is banner towing. Um, and it's actually, if you think about it, it is uh, low time pilot jobs. That's what I, I like to specialize in. And I'll kind of get into why here in a few minutes. But um, I always want you guys to, to kind of understand, you know, what, I, what I'm doing with the channel. I really want to show that the banner towing is a, an easy way to get your hours as well as uh, ferrying airplanes and stuff like that. So we're going to kind of talk about that and get into that um, a little bit. Okay. All right. So, all right, let's talk about uh, me a little bit. Um, this channel is to serve you guys, but I want to talk about me just for a short little tiny bit because I just want you to know who I'm, who I am and uh, why I'm here and, uh, you know, why I talk about this stuff. So uh, I'm a commercial pilot and uh, I have my tailwheel endorsement as well as my instrument. And I have that in single engine and multi-engine. So I've been towing for the beginning, since the beginning of the year. So I've really been operating as a commercial pilot since uh, the beginning of the year. We'll kind of get into what I did last year, which is kind of what led me to uh, to what I'm doing now. Okay, so I have a interesting story for you. Um, we are going to talk about ramen noodles. <laughs> uh, and you're probably asking yourself, you know, how is that real? How is that relevant? Well, let me tell you a quick little story. While I was in my commercial pilot training, when I was in my check ride, um, I was having a conversation during the oral exam, and my instructor asked me, what do you want to do when you're done? What do you want to do when you get out of here, when you've got your pilot certificate? And I told him I would really enjoy and really like to do something in general aviation and stay in general, general aviation, specifically banner towing or uh, crop dusting or um, aerial survey or airplane fairing or maybe even, um, you know, pipeline patrol, that kind of thing. Those are the kind of things that uh, I said I want to do. And his response was a little bit alarming. His response was, well, I hope you like eating ramen noodles for the rest of your life. And I was kind of taken back. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. That doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> I think just because I want to do something and not do it because of the money that I would have to just kind of like suffer through it. And that motivated me more to say, no, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. Um, for a living, for my pilot career, I'm going to go after my passion and I'm not going to worry about the money because when you follow your passion, when you follow what you value, 
The money will come later. And so that's the story I want to share that I really have been able to figure out how to become a banner pilot, which a lot of people might say, okay, you're just a banner pilot. You're just a cowboy of the sky. You're kind of right, but I don't eat ramen noodles unless I want to. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'm very, very fortunate to make enough money to take care of my family while doing something that I love. And so I just want you guys to know that you can do the exact same thing. If that's something you're looking forward to, um, it, you might go into the airlines. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. But in the meantime, you don't have to suffer through your hours. You can get your hours and have a blast. And I mean it. You can have a blast doing it. So um, to continue, I had to make a big life decision. And that big life decision, as you can see here from the slide, was moving. And what I actually had to do when I got done with my commercial pilot's license, I had to figure out what I was going to do. I'm from Colorado, born and raised in Denver, miss it like crazy, and uh, found a job going to Florida, uh, going to be a uh, flight instructor, and went into the program. You know, I won't get into the details of the program, but basically it did not work out. And I had to... I had to make a decision and about, I spent about five months there and I wasn't, it wasn't working. I wasn't able to get into the program. I wasn't able to teach. There were some administrative things that were happening that was preventing me from moving forward and from flying and from getting into teaching. But I, I tried really, really hard to get into the program, to start teaching and to start building hours. And I, and I hit a roadblock. I'm not even kidding. I hit a roadblock and there was nothing I could do to get past it. As much as I tried as hard and as dedicated as I put myself out there, I couldn't get through this roadblock. So I had a hard decision to make. And when that kind of hit me in the face and it did, I honestly, it almost fell apart. I, I had to act very quickly. And what, what did I do? Well, I quit. I kind of quit. <laughs> I said, hey, I need about two more weeks. If this isn't going to work in two weeks, I'm going to have to walk. And that's exactly what happened. Two weeks later, I decided I need to go find something that's actually going to provide for my family. So I walked. I walked out. I said, I can't do this. I, I need to go hit the streets. I need to go put my suit and my tie on and go hit the streets and find something. And you remember, I lived in Colorado. I completely changed my life, 100% changed my life to go and chase this dream. I wanted to go into aviation, and it quite it didn't quite actually align with my dream. Now I look back on it. I didn't want to be a flight instructor. I wanted to get in a banner towing or some of the other cool jobs I was telling you about. So what did I do? I walked out. I went home. And then I decided to jump on the internet and try and find something. And it all changed with one simple phone call. That's it. Honestly, one simple phone call. I picked up the phone. I called the banner towing company and I told them my story. And I said, I'm looking for work. Here's what I want to do. And they I actually left him a message. And then an hour later, I got a phone call back saying, yeah, we're looking for pilots. We need pilots. Why don't you come down and we will do an interview? So I was like, okay, do I need to show up in a suit? Do I need it? No, just come down. I was like, seriously? Yeah, just come down. Bring your logbook. Okay, cool. So I got in my truck. I drove down South Florida and I went into the company. Now, Little disclaimer, I can't talk about the company I'm with right now, and that is kind of out of my control. So I'm not going to mention any names or mention any um, specifics about the company. However, if this is something you're interested in later on, we can I can help you out with that. We can talk a little bit more specifics. But it, to the general public, I'm not really quite allowed to talk about all the details of the company, so I'll just give you guys basics. Anyways, I did my interview. I did a uh, little flight with uh, the flight instructor. All went well, and I started my banner training just like that. I had zero hope, and then it all changed in one phone call. 
and I got started and I pushed hard and I got through it, got through my training and now I'm towing banners and it was that fast. And I was totally surprised by that. I was not expecting that. That was kind of a, a little bit of a miracle <laughs> if you want to be honest. By the way, you guys are probably wondering what all this is. I'm actually in my wife's office. She's a teacher. So she's already got this whole setup. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just use this little setup. So if you see some some elementary stuff back here. That's that's what that is. So anyways, um, hey, if you guys are watching, do me a favor, hit a like if this is adding value. If you're enjoying uh, the content, hit a like and share if you don't mind. And consider being a subscriber. I appreciate it. Love to have you guys along the journey. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue along. So let's talk a little bit about what banner towing is like, okay? It's not just all flying. There's some hard work, okay? Um, as you can see here, there's groundwork. You have to build banners. You have to set up banners. Basically, uh, one of my flight instructors, he wanted to get into ag flying, and, and his thing was, hey, I'm going to sweep the floors until somebody puts me in an airplane. And I remember him telling me that, and I was just blown away by that, that, that dedication to do something you love. And so I said, okay, all right, let's do that. That's what I'm going to do. So when I when I got hired on with the company that I'm with now, I said, hey, I'll, I'll work the ground. I'll sweep floors. I'll take out trash. I'll clean airplanes. I don't care what it is. I want to do this job. And so that's what I did. I started doing uh, building banners and setting up banners and working the ground in the hot, sweaty heat of South Florida. And sometimes it was kind of miserable, you know, but you just got to, you got to grind, you got to work hard and you've got to go and get what you want to get. Um, so that's where you start. You start with the groundwork. Now from there, once you get your training and once you go through your, your, uh, your kind of your banner endorsement, I guess you could call it, you will go and you can be a local pilot or a national pilot which if you're a national pilot, you get lots of travel and lots of flying, okay? So basically to expand on that, if you're a local pilot, you just tow banners around the city, you know, pretty pretty simple. You go out, you build banners, you might even build your own banner or, and then a uh, ground guy will set it up and then you will go pick up the banner and fly it around the city. That's what you do. And it's usually a couple hours. You might do two hours. You might do four hours uh, during a busy weekend. But um, if you're national, that's where that's where the where the, that's where the meat and potatoes is. <laughs> Let me be honest. So far, I've traveled to New York, to Philadelphia, to Williamsburg, Virginia, to Talladega, Alabama, to California, and Phoenix, which you guys haven't seen yet. You guys will see that soon. And that is just this year. I've done all that just this year with a banner company. It's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you. It's amazing. I encourage anybody who is interested in this to just jump on it, to go forward and to get it. And uh, we'll talk about how you guys can kind of do that in the end. Okay, so, so there's lots of flying. So there's lots of travel. That can kind of be hard on a family. So if you have a family like I do, make sure your wife or your husband is uh, very understanding and uh, and have the conversation with them. Hey, I'm a pilot. This is, I might have to live out of a suitcase a little bit, but that's not uncommon for airline pilots. You're going to have to do it as a banner pilot. And you will be more valuable to the company if you do it as a, a full-time pilot or what we call a national pilot. So, um, so let's talk about more about what you can expect if you choose the national route. If you choose the local route, yeah, you'll get hours. There's no saying you won't, but you'll have some dry times. You'll have some times where it's like, well, there's really nothing going on and it's kind of off season. So you don't really have much to do. Might have to find another part-time job, that kind of thing. How about 600 hours gained in one season? 600 hours. You need 1,500 hours for your uh, ATP minimums without a degree. My total hours went from 275 hours when I graduated to 900. I mean, let me repeat that again. I started in January. 
and it's uh, September, and I've gained about 600 hours of flying. That's a lot of time. That is a lot of time to knock out in one season, in one year. I cannot tell you how grateful and how fortunate I am to say that. It's not bragging. Trust me. I'm uh, Hopefully, I'm the most humble person you meet. Not bragging. I'm just showing you, hey, look, I'm one beggar showing another beggar where there's a table full of food. <laughs> that's it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> that's honestly, that's my whole thing is that, hey, that is what you can do too. 600 hours from January to now September. On the road, flying, just building time. If you have a degree, your hours go down to 1,200 for what's required. 600, that's already half. You probably have, like I did, I had almost 300 hours. You might have 250 from your training. You're almost there. You'll be done by the next summer. You'll be, you'll have your hours. You'll be ready to go. If you choose to be uh, an airline pilot, if not, then you can just keep building hours and you'll get to the point where you don't even count them anymore, which I know a couple guys like that. So th that's really, that's the cream of the crop, as they say, uh, for banner towing. Um, oh, and let me just mention that, uh, you get ferry hours. You get cross country hours. For example, I went to Talladega. You guys, um, if you uh, if you check it out here, I'll put a little uh, for those on the replay. I'll put a little card up so you guys can click on it for my Talladega series. Basically, I had to take an airplane from South Florida to Talladega, Alabama, and it took me two and a half days. Well, that's a lot of time that I put in my logbook under cross country. Now it's all day VFR. So you're still going to have to get night cross country and you're still going to have to get uh, or 50 hours a night and, um, you know, stuff like that. So, but from there, we actually went from there to New Jersey, but you are going to ferry airplanes around the country, excuse me. And um, you're going to build time. You're going to build lots of good cross country time. You're going to build lots of experience. You're going to talk to ATC a lot. You're going to be in class Bravo airspace a lot. You're going to be in Charlie's. The only one you won't be in, in is uh, Alpha, <laughs> you know, but you're going to be spending time in every airspace. I spent four hours the other week just uh, towing for a, uh, for a game and I was in Bravo airspace talking to the guys like I was a uh, 747, just, you know, little banner tow, little Piper Cub flying around with a big banner, rag dragger, as they call us. You know, I was just, um, I was just doing that in class Bravo. Like if you would have told me two years ago, you're going to spend a lot of your time in class Bravo and in Charlie's and in Delta's talking to ATC and getting experience and all that stuff as a banner tower, I would have laughed at you. <laughs> I would have said, that's ridiculous, but it's true. I have so much experience built up by talking to ATC. I'm so comfortable with ATC now. I remember when I was nervous. Uh, when I was in my student training and when I was uh, working on instrument and stuff like that, I was nervous. So you talk to them and you're like, oh, I hope I don't say the wrong thing. You'll get experience and you'll get better. And believe it or not, this is a great way to give you more experience. And most people probably don't know that. They probably don't think you spend a whole lot of time in, um, you know, uh, airspace for banner towing, but you really do. So I just wanted to mention that as well. That's a That's another benefit. Okay. So continuing on, like I said, it can be hard on a family. Make sure that you have that discussion with your spouse and let them know how it's going to work. All right. So if you're interested in banner towing, this is what I can tell you. For the requirements, you need a commercial pilot's license. You need your tailwheel endorsement if you're flying a tailwheel airplane. There are banner towing companies that fly Cessnas like 172s. And you need to be eligible to work in the United States. Okay. So those really are the three things that you need to become a banner pilot, at least to qualify um, for like an interview. So commercial pilot's license up here, I'll put it on screen again, commercial pilot's license, tailwheel endorsement, and be eligible to work in the United States. Those are the, those are the key things. One of the reasons I'm doing this live stream is I get this question asked so much. How many hours do I need? How many hours are required? I get this question all the time. And I thought, hey, I'll just do this live stream just to kind of put it out there. So if anybody is interested, 
here's what it is. So how many hours do you need to qualify? Well, you might actually be pretty surprised by the answer. The answer is no hour requirement. Can you believe that? Literally, no hour requirement. I'm not kidding. You need your commercial pilot's license, you need a tailwheel endorsement, and you need to be eligible to work in the United States, and that's it. You could have 200 hours. You could have 150 hours. Whatever it is, you could do. You could just get your commercial pilot's license and skip your instrument because we don't do instrument flying. We don't do night flying. You don't need an instrument. All you need are those three things and the hours that you got from training. It's amazing. It's a, it's a. Seriously, it's such an easy way to get in. You don't have to be a flight instructor. If you want to be a flight instructor, go for it. If that's your passion, go for it. But you don't have to. That's what I want you guys to know. You don't have to. I didn't really want to. And I didn't want to have to. So I'm thankful that I found this banner towing so that way I could get hours and not have to do something I didn't really want to do. Some people don't want to be banner pilots. Some people say it's a dangerous job. We'll get into that later. It can be dangerous, but if you're safe and you follow the procedures, just like with any other operation, you'll be okay. So no hour requirement. I was, that's great news. I just want to share that guy, share that with you guys, because, um, it's a little bit of a shocker. Some people don't know that. Okay. So that's kind of the, the meat and potatoes of banner towing. Um, I want to do a couple of channel announcements here. Um, I am going to Let's see. I am going to try and continue to post every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I live in Florida, so I'm on the East Coast. Every Tuesday, I'm going to post a video. Um, if I don't post a video, I'll let you guys know, hey, uh, I'm taking a break. Like I took a break uh, last week. And um, so, yes, yeah, every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and then also, I'm going to try, like I said at the beginning, I'm going to try – to uh, sorry okay i'm going to try something popped up on screen i'm going to try to live stream once per week i'm going to try it's kind of busy uh with my schedule I'm, I'm like going all over the place um but i'm gonna this is new this is all new for me i'm, I'm working this a little bit and i'm gonna go ahead and try to get that going all right so next i at what Oh, let me tell you about this real quick. At 100 subscribers, I did a giveaway. I did a $25 giveaway for one person, and that person, um, that lucky person, won a $25 gift card for Sporties. They could buy whatever they want. And they even told me they were going to buy some stuff for the pilot's uh, license, books and stuff. So I was like, yes, that's good. Anything. Anything to help you guys be better pilots. I'm happy. That's awesome. So um, I'm going to do another one at 500 i'm gonna do another giveaway at 500 subscribers right now i'm around 160 or whatever so you know things have been growing well really appreciate you guys becoming subscribers really appreciate you guys sharing and liking the content let me just tell you if you guys don't know this about youtube when you guys share and when you guys like the content youtube gets really really happy <laughs> and they like to uh take my videos and then promote them to people who they believe are looking for the content that I'm putting out. So they might find somebody who's, you know, somebody who types in, I'm looking for, uh, you know, banner towing jobs, or I'm looking for low time pilot jobs. YouTube will give that to those people because you guys have been liking and sharing and commenting. So I really appreciate that. It helps other people. It really does. It helps other people find these videos which I'm intending to help them get hours. And it's like this crazy circle. And I'm trying to um, you know, get YouTube to kind of spit it out to those people so that they can learn these things. That's what we're doing. So thank you guys for helping me with that. That's why I ask for likes and shares is to help other people. Okay, so at 500 subscribers, I'm going to um, announce another giveaway and we're gonna do a special video. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'll give you a little hint. I was in the Air Force. And when I was in the Air Force, I saw some cool things. And I was able to witness some cool things and show you guys legally some cool things. So that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna show you. I'll leave it at that. That's 500 subscribers. Add a thousand subscribers. One thousand is a big number. 
At 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a massive giveaway. Um, you're not going to want to miss this, truly. I, I don't want to spoil it, uh, but it's awesome. And, um, yeah, I really want to tell you guys, <laughs> but I don't quite want to tell you just yet because I don't want to spoil it. I'll just say this. Yeah, no, we're going to wait. Uh, yeah, we're going to wait. Uh, a thousand subscribers. If we get past 500, I might do another live stream, and uh, and we'll talk about it. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. Once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do an awesome video. I'm going to do an awesome get a giveaway. You guys aren't going to miss it. So, um, yeah, so that's that. So to continue, um, again, if you guys please like and share with one person. If you could just share with one person. But don't just share with like your mom. I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not dying for, you know, your mom to come watch my videos. <laughs> if you want to share with your mom, sure, fine. <laughs> you know, whatever. I'd like you to share with somebody that is important to you. Somebody that you know that would value, that would value the videos that I'm putting out that might either be entertained or informed. Pick one person in your life. You've got to have one person and be like, hey, I just want you to check this out. I thought about you when I watched this video. If you could do that, that might change something, especially if they're looking for you know something to build hours. It might change their lives. Changed my life when I made that phone call. So I just want to pass that on. Like I said, I'm one beggar telling another beggar where there's a table full of food. That's it. And then, of course, if you guys um, have not subscribed, you know, consider becoming a subscriber because uh, once a week I post these videos and you guys are going to get notifications of when I post and you guys are going to be part of the team. And um, if there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Now, some people don't like this, kind of think of it as a cold call thing, but when you click the little bell, it notifies you when I upload a video. YouTube does the work and they say, hey, you know, mile high fiber to upload a new video and, you know, you can ignore it or you can, you know, watch it, you know, whatever. But if you guys want to get notified, I just wanted to do a call out and say, that's how you do it. You subscribe, hit the little bell and it will, uh, basically tell you, Hey, there's a new video up if you're interested. Okay. Let's talk real quick about, um, I want to offer something to you guys. And that is, if you have been following my channel, you'll know that I did a video on 10 tailwheel tips. And basically this video, just to give you a quick rundown, this video was uh, me talking about the best tips that I've found and that I've learned to keep me safe while I'm flying tailwheel airplanes. And so in addition to the video, I made and wrote a guide and that guide basically is, it's like, I think it's about eight or 10 pages of just content, just saying, here's tip one, here's tip two, here's tip three that I use. And I'm not a CFI, disclaimer, but I'm a guy who flies tailwheel airplanes for a job. And I've learned a few things. I've gained knowledge from others who are smarter than me, and I want to pass it on to you. And so uh, I've gotten a lot of good feedback. A lot of people who have been flying and have, you know, one guy said he had like 40,000 tailwheel hours and he said, good tips, keep sharing. And I was like, oh, this guy's got way more time than me. And he was impressed. So I was like, okay, good. I'm doing something right. I'm helping people out. And that's what I want to do. I want to help you guys out. So this guide is available for you guys. Um, there's two ways. The first way is I put it on Amazon Kindle. And, um, it's just, it's, I think it's a buck 99 Amazon takes most of that anyways, but I just wanted to throw it up there, um, help generate a little bit of, you know, a few pennies, I should say <laughs> for, uh, the channel and just kind of get the, you know, the ball rolling on that. So you can go to that link right there. If you guys want to write that down or, uh, pause the, the, the replay, if you're watching this on the, uh, on the playback, pause it, write it down. Um, and then go ahead and uh, click on it. Or underneath this live stream, in the first two lines, there are the links to uh, both of these uh, places you can get them. So you can just click on the link. It'll take you right to Amazon Kindle, and you'll be good to go. The second method 
is to join my free VIP club. Uh, basically what that is, it's an email list and all it is, it's just a list that says um, you, if you sign up for the, the email list, they ask you like, it's like three questions, your name, your email, and that's it. And basically if you sign up for that, it's a quick form you fill out and seriously, it takes four seconds. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I will send it this table tips guide to you. No cost for free. I'll send it to you and you guys can, um, you guys can look through it at no charge and share it with your friends. This is meant to help people. Um, this is not meant for me to make money because honestly, I don't, <laughs> not from Amazon. Anyways, so those are the two, uh, two ways that you can get that guide if you're interested. So I'll leave that on screen for another moment while I grab a drink of water here. <clears throat> okay. Continuing on. I want to do a Q&A session, but I believe the amount of people in the group has pretty low and I haven't gotten any uh, comments in the live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this, but instead, if you guys are interested, I would appreciate a comment below. All you have to do is just put a little comment down there, down there. You know, what else would you like to know about banner towing? Is there anything about this video that inspired you? Is there anything about this video or a comment that you have? How about some feedback for me? How about, you know, um, would really appreciate if you talk about this or, um, you know, I didn't really like this. Can you do this better? I'm open to criticism. So um, if you guys have a question or you have anything to say in the comments below, drop a comment and I will get back to you. I'll heart your little comment. I will give you a thumbs up and I will respond to you. So, if you can do that, I'd really appreciate that. Um, I just really, honestly, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. You really are a good fan base, and I've gotten a lot of good feedback from, from you guys on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. I really appreciate you guys being around and, and being part of the channel, being part of the journey. Thank you for being here. Honestly, thank you so very much for being here. I cannot say that enough. You guys have been doing some awesome things uh, for me, and I really appreciate that. I love talking to you guys. Having conversations with you has been really, really good. So keep it up. Let's keep talking. Let's keep asking questions. Let's keep learning together, and let's see if we can um, try and beat this huge wall of 1,500 hours together. <clears throat> together because it's quite daunting. 1500 hours is daunting. So I really hope you guys have gotten value out of this live stream. And I hope that um, things have been going pretty well for you. Hopefully you've been building some time. If you have been building time uh, that's been different, let me know. You know, if you're like, hey, I've been doing this job and building time, let me know. That would be great. Would love for you guys to um, throw in a couple of comments or whatever in the comments below. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking videos. Thank you for sharing them. You guys mean a whole lot to me. You're a great community, great fan base. And please help me continue to grow that fan base so we can just help more people get through these hours and help more people become better commercial pilots so that they can move to the job that they dream of and the job that they want to do. So again, thank you guys for being here. This is Seth, Mile High Firebird. And, uh, you know, fly that airplane to the finish every single time. All right, you guys, it's great hanging out with you and we'll see you again next time.